All right, the colonel is back. Sorry, gentlemen, we had a uh, earlier technical issue. Uh, the world's greatest, the absolute world's greatest watch market update is back, and this is where we bring you. That's right, the colonels, the colonels, curated selection of um, the greatest watches today on social media. That's right, we scour the interwebs. We scour the interwebs to see what all the punters are flexing today. And the flexing is here. Uh, leave all your vicious comments below. We're going to go through a selection of 12. That's right, 12 heavy hitters, heavy hitters, no shitters. Uh, you vote for what you believe is the watch of the day. Right, guys? Leave your comments below and let, me, let us know what you think. Okay, here we go. All right, to start off with, to start off with, we got the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 39 millimeter. Again, this is a big watch. Rose gold, extra thin. So this is the thin, nice. This is, again, this is what a Royal Oak should be. Thin, thin. Um, value on these is about 100 grand roughly right now. Uh, and prices are dropping faster than Bill Clinton's pants in an Arkansas farmhouse. Unbelievable, but true. That's right. The prices on these are dropping. Unbelievable, but true. If you wait another about six months or so, I think you'll be able to scoop one of these up for sixty grand. So don't be a crayon eater. Don't pay retail. Don't buy into the hype. Uh, all AP prices are heading lower. Much, much lower. Next up, we got a they just with a tiger eye, and this is a banged out. This is kind of a original condition banged out, banged out bracelet with a banged out bezel. Uh, the tiger eye, I'm not even crazy about. I think the price here I have is a little bit crazy, is a little high. I think this should be worth 15 grand. I, I I wouldn't even, I'd get rid of that bracelet. It's ugly. It's nasty. Put this on a strap. And it'll be amazing. Uh, now, actually, I don't know about amazing. I, I actually I saw a beautiful Tiger Eye at the Miami Beach Antique Show, uh, and that watch was, um, you know, the the stripes were, were, you know, all kind of even type stripes. Here you've got one kind of giant thick stripe, which I think is kind of ugly. Um, but uh, hey, to each to each their own, right? Uh, this should be uh, at fifteen grand maximum, maximum. So this is a mistake over here. Next. We got uh, Mr. Grant Cardone flexing us with the uh, Richard Mill RM004. You know, it, this guy started off with Hublots. He had a whole box. He had a whole collection of Hublot shitters, and he's uh, upgraded in the last couple of years. It's all um, he's got RMs. He's got uh, APs. He's got Pateks. Uh, everything. I mean, like all you know, all six-figure watches. No, no shitters there. Uh, so this guy uh, is, uh, is, has some incredible stuff. Now, the RMs, I think the price on these, again, everybody's saying that these will be coming down. And I believe, that's right, the colonel believes that RM is going to be seen kind of, kind of like as uh, not quite, I don't know about a Frank Mueller, but definitely the price is something like this is probably going to be a hundred grand in, in a year or so, two years. And they're going to kind of go out of f fashion it's kind of going to be seen as that Bitcoin bro watch, uh, and uh, so I would not, uh, I would not be investing in this. Uh, next up, we got a heavy hitter from the Swiss Caveau. That's the collector. Um, yeah, amazing. Uh, white gold perpetual calendar with the um, baguette diesel purple dial stunning stunning uh, I'm not sure about the color scheme I uh, know I think a blue doll would be better but you know to each their own again with diamonds I think you kind of want to have a different color than purple uh, but uh, that's just that's just me same guy same collector uh, this guy must be must be doing something right this guy's some incredible watchers on Instagram Swiss Cavo Nautilus 5723 Tiffany, this is a Tiffany, baguettes, baguette diamonds on the bezel and the hour markers, uh, rose gold. Beautiful watch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch. Uh, let me know what you punters think. Leave your vicious comments below. 
Next up, we got uh, an offshore. I have to have an offshore because, eh, whatever. Some of you guys like it. I don't give a shit. This is, this is maybe worth, I don't know, 15, 18 grand. I think this price might be high here. Well, that's where it's going. I, I, this is, this is going to be seen as kind of garbage. It's already garbage, but it's going to be seen as bigger garbage very, very soon. Unbelievable, but true. Uh, Patek annual calendar, rose gold, chocolate dial. Uh, I'm not a fan of these. Uh, with the, uh, you know, I like kind of the, the circular the sub sub dials. I'm not a fan of this type of um, aperture window. It's a little bit, I don't know. It's just just, and then you get the 24 hour indicator at the bottom, which I don't know what you need it for because it's not a dual time zone. It just tells you, I guess, day night. I I, I don't know what the point of it is really. I I, I think they're, they're stupid. I had a you know, you, you see, you've seen one of my videos. I had the 5396R. That's the uh, annual calendar rose gold with the baguette markers. Uh, and uh, I had to trade it. I just didn't like the, the that whole setup. Next up, Audemars Piguet Tourbillon. Tourbillon. Um, interesting watch. Now, I saw these. I remember these were like about 20 grand like last year, uh, maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, I guess some guys are trying to pump it up a little bit. They're trying to make this the next thing or whatever. I don't think it's worth forty grand, especially if it breaks. You're gonna have some big problems with AP turbions. Oof. Um, the one thing I I didn't like about this watch is the um, the the uh, the hands. I don't like the hands. The hands I think are kind of ugly. Now this particular dial is not the one I like. They had one which is like a kind of a champagne gold i think there's some other ones this is looks like an ivory of some sort with kind of uh uh what's the word engraved you know um uh, i'm not i'm not a fan of the color or the hands but it's an interesting watch uh worth watching i don't think it's worth the money i, I you know if, if you did like one you probably can get one in the, in the 20s next up one of my favorite watches patek philippe uh nautilus white gold blue sunburst dial um white gold mesh bracelet uh these are great i have one of these slightly different case funkier case early 70s uh this is a i think this is a great deal now watch out with these again with these mesh bracelets make sure that uh you don't it, it matches it, it's actually your size because you're not gonna be able to you know if it's too small you're not gonna be able to make it bigger uh, and if it's uh, too big, uh, you don't want to cut it down. It's just not a good idea. Next up, same era, Audemars Piguet, 70s. Uh, it's, I'm not sure what the model is. It's kind of like the Cobra. Uh, and uh, very interesting. I had one of these on at the Miami Beach Antique Show. Um, and um, not this not this dial, but a slightly different dial. And the bracelet was very weird. It really flares out. I don't think you can adjust it. I think it just flares out. You just have to have a big wrist. Um, it's uh, you know it's interesting. I don't know if I don't know if anybody would ever wear this. I mean, I've never seen anybody actually wearing one of these. So that is uh, interesting. Very interesting. What do you guys think? Um, okay. Next up, we got a uh, heavy hitter here from John Goldberg. Ribbon. Italian mega collector, uh, and this is the GMT Master, and we have the factory. This is all factory diamonds and um, sapphires. Um, this is not a bust down. This is factory. The problem with this is it's completely useless. It is absolutely useless because you, you don't have the, the the numbers on it. I mean, you can't use it. It's pure garbage in my opinion. I don't know why John Goldberg bought it. Well, this guy buys everything. He's into like just. He's like a giant shark or a whale, just like, you know, opens his mouth and, and scoops everything up. Um, but this is um, this is the uh, factory. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but true. Uh, wrapping up, we have Mr. Eric Koo, the super dealer. Eric Koo. Um, Fu Man Koo on Instagram. He's got two heavy hitters. On the left, Tourbillon Purple Dial Royal Oak, uh, about 180 grand market value. 
in the perpetual calendar in steel. With a, it looks like a blue dial, uh, which I haven't seen before. I, I haven't really seen too many in steel. I think it should be about 95 grand, 100 grand. You know, the gold ones are up there. Again, these were, you know, 20 grand, 25 grand uh, a couple of years back. Well, uh, almost five years ago now. So, yeah, time, time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. Um, yeah, so they've appreciated quite a bit. Um, I don't know. The perpetual calendar, I think, is a great, great complication. What do you vicious, nasty punters think of this? Leave your comments below. What would you vote as the watch of the day? Uh, let's go through this once again. We got the um, two heavy hitters, AP Turbion Perpetual, GMT Bust. Well, not a bust, that it's factory. We got the uh, 70s AP, very funky. Ellipse, white gold with a mesh bracelet. Beautiful, blue dial. The AP Turbion, um, a little bit overpriced today. We got, this is a relatively common watch, the uh, annual calendar. Not a fan, but, you know, you guys seem to like it. I think this is garbage, but, you know, again, uh, all you vicious punters seem to like these um, offshores. We got the uh, Nautilus 5723, rose gold baguette diamond markers and bezel. Um, heavy, heavy hitter, 500 grand. Uh, we got the perpetual calendar, purple dial, white gold. We got the Richard Mill and uh, the date just with a big, ugly, fat stripe. And to wrap up, we have the um, first watch we showed, which is the Royal Oak Rose Gold. What do you punters think? Uh, my vote is this watch. I wish they made it smaller. I can't wear this size, but I think this is an absolute stunning watch. And if for 50 grand, I think this would be a great deal. Uh, I think the price will be there in the next six months. Unbelievable, but true. Thank you all for joining the Colonel. If you want to get a watch review, send in your vicious, nasty emails to brutalwatchreviews at gmail.com. Brutalwatchreviews at gmail.com.